Are you fucking kidding me? Your uncle was or is a medicine man. And you are helping him. Are you fucking kidding me? This is your destiny. A medicine man is a spiritual leader of the community and often herbalist. A medicine man listen to you carefully and tells you a few words that changes your fucking destiny. A medicine man and a traditional native uh, anywhere in Africa, I know Aboriginals, uh, like from Australia. I know Amazonians who don't speak English, but I spoke to them with no fucking English with hands about spiritual reincarnation. This is your destiny to continue uh, genetic. It's more complicated than genetic. Learn Robert Shapolsky behavioral genetics. There is a type called schizotypal. This is not schizophrenic people. This is people like Robert Chapolsky himself, Professor Robert Chapolsky, and myself. These are people who established new religions. These are, these are spiritual leaders for hundreds of thousands of years. They're called shamans. Shaman is the one who paints in caves 30,000 years ago, or African caves 50,000 years ago. This is who is a sh medicine man. Medicine man is one in a village, not two, if there is a second one, and speaks inappropriate things at inappropriate time, they fucking kill him. They kick him out of the village. There is a funny story Robert Chapolsky tells after 20 years experience with baboons and living in Africa, how they begot a second a medicine woman in the village in Africa, and they got rid of her because she was out of control, talking crazy shit like St. John, apocalypse. That's a medicine man. The medicine man wrote the apocalypse, the Bible. Who do you think Jesus Christ was? Guru, teacher, rabbi, the medicine man. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus was baptized as Egyptian priest into neo-hermetic philosophy. Jesus was very well learned in Jewish wisdom and in 5,000 year old Egyptian wisdom. He was baptized priest. And then he went back to Galilee by himself walking as they say, he rode a donkey into Jerusalem and people were greeting him with palm leaves. He didn't ride a donkey. He fucking walked with a bunch of fucking crazies with him. Twelve of them. <laughs> and one of them was Judah. Do you know those stories? Why do you read those stories? When you listen to ancient... Uh, uh, Native American uh, mythology, a.k.a. story for children that survived for hundreds of thousands of years. Why do you think grandfather cares to tell you this story? Why is it so fucking important to entertain 10-year-olds? Yeah, maybe to entertain. I was telling my kids stories when they were growing up and they had custom orders when they, before the bed, they say, Daddy, Daddy, I want the witch. I want the, the pirate and the, the map and the treasure. And the other one says, the youngest one, no, I don't want a witch. She was always very uh, um, sociopath, not sociopathic, empathic, empathic. She felt more pain than other people. Now she's six foot tall, very, you know, very perceptive woman. She's going to make very good FBI agent <laughs> to interview people. Her uncle, my brother-in-law, is the head of FBI uh, division. And the father-in-law was uh, also uh, head of FBI with Hoover being his boss. Who do you think is a medicine man? The medicine man. JFK was a medicine man. Leader of the nation, Mao Tse-Tung, 
was a medicine man, but not Karl Marx. Karl Marx was a violent alcoholic who caused self uh, commit suicide his daughters. And Lenin went to a funeral to one of Marx's daughters. This is who communists were. Lenin was not a medicine man. He pretended to be a medicine man. He just learned many languages and was very smart, but he was not a medicine man. He was a fucking freak. Lenin and Marx. That's how much I hate communism from the bottom of my heart. How communism screwed up three, four generations of my family, literally annihilated my grandfather's father, first husband of my, my grandmother from the mother's side, just fucking executed at age 23 because he didn't want to let go 60 acres of land entitled to him by generations and communists came in 1938 and said, let go your fucking land into communal farming. He says, no, that he is in three days. Widow, woman, 18 year old, got pregnant with my mother five years later. And my mother was born with the Ukrainian guy who went to Berlin, liberated Auschwitz in 1945 and Berlin. Who is a medicine man? This is your destiny because it comes in a family. The perception of the universe with the sensors. You feel the universe differently because you're part of the family of the medicine man. I met this woman who was a granddaughter of a Native American medicine man. I think she still works. She's about my age. She sells paints, custom-made oil paints in Soho in New York City. And she goes to museums to show how to mix paints. I forgot her last name, but I'll Google the company name. Maybe she still works there. They make oil paints. You know, they're a small company. Five people work there. So we spoke a lot about medicine, man. Learn! your own destiny, because that's what matters to you, not to me. You are fuck knows where, on the other side of the world, Apache, good, good, good. You can label yourself whatever, Apache, Shmakache, Russian, African, white, black, Chinese, whatever. You are no different than I. And the deeper secret goes. <laughs> Every fucking molecule works the same way, pretty much, because hydrogen is made out of the same subatomic particles as iron and gold. Do you know why gold shines this color? Because it could shine silver, not gold. Because electrons in gold are traveling with the speed half of light and they reflect light, they absorb blue and reflect yellow. That's why gold looks yellow. Gold travels, the atoms, electrons travel with the half of the speed of light. That's why gold is a very interesting conductive of signals. It's all fucking related. Quantum physics and how you feel about things. Learn! Quantum biology. There is a book called Nature Via Nurture. It will explain how I just woke up. I didn't have my coffee. My throat is fucking dry. My neuropathy is fucking killing me. I sp slept three hours. I was painting 16 hours straight. I am a medicine man, but I really don't want followers. I really don't want to teach anybody anything. But what you said, I slept on it. And I woke up with this idea to make you this video. What are you going to do? You heard it. And it should change your life. Because everything you hear and see and everything you think about what you hear and see changes who you are. Everything is related. Every thought, every subatomic particle behaves. It's called butterfly effect. Heard about it? 
butterfly sweeps buffles wings in Japan and there is a fucking tornado on the other side of the universe.